Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Renetta Monique and I'm here with another YouTube video. Today I will be discussing my four month sister lock update. So if you want to know what's been going on with my babies then stay tuned. Hello y'all and welcome back to my channel. First and foremost I want to thank all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you have not hit the subscribe button, you might as well. Go ahead so you can join me on this wonderful journey. This, cha this channel is geared toward those of us who have uh, low density, finer textured hair, and we have sister locks. So we will be going on this journey together. Then I want to give a special, special shout out to one of my lock crush. Her name is still Nia Bia. And this shirt is courtesy of her. I ordered it from her. So go ahead and check out her YouTube channel. And also click on the link in her bio so that you can find when you too can get some wonderful, high quality merchandise. So let's get into it, y'all. I have been sister locked four months i am so excited i had my retire on monday um i want to say that's september the first and my official uh sister lock anniversary is on may the 28th that's the day i was established and if you want to see more about that day and what that was like for me then go ahead and look at a previous video that i did on my page so let's get into it the growth is amazing you guys, I never thought that my hair would grow so much so fast. I mean, I knew it had the potential, but just to actually see it happening right before my eyes. I mean, I started out with maybe three inches of hair. Um, and now, oh my God, y'all look, it is really, really just growing. Um, I've noticed on maybe just a couple of them, like some little buds, like on the ends. Um, but for the most part, of course, my ends are still super curly. Um, when I went to my consultant to get my retie, she gave me a thumbs up and a kudos that I have been doing a good job because my hair is really, really soft and, oh, preferably I have not received or not had too much slippage. So that, um, is a testament to, you know, just me realizing a couple things. One. Everybody's hair is different. And for my hair and my textured hair, the whole spritzing it every day and water and moisture and all of that, nah, that doesn't work for me. Um, I go as long as possible before um, spritzing my hair with, with um, moisturizer or water because when I feel it, it doesn't feel dry. It feels moisture. So my scalp must be doing what it's supposed to do, which is releasing my own natural oils um into my scalp so my hair is which i did not know that it has it really is holding its own oil i may miss my hair with the um, water bottle um maybe twice a week and another thing that i changed was shampooing in the beginning i was shampooing of course just like she said you know two times you know every two weeks and of course again right before my retie um, but lately I've been going a little bit longer because my hair doesn't have dandruff. I don't have any flaking. I don't have any itchy scabs. And so I haven't been experiencing those and my hair just doesn't get that dirty. Um, so I have been pushing off, at least in this phase of my journey, I have been going about five weeks. Um, uh, no, I would say four weeks before washing it. So basically, I'm really washing it right before my retie. But there's a caveat, catch 22 to that is that if you watch my previous video, then you know we have moved, recently bought a home, and we have a pool in the back. So in between that, my hair is actually getting a little bit of moisture because even though I wear two swim caps to protect my babies, I braid them up, I wear two swim caps. There has been just light little moisture um, I've noticed in them. And when I see, when I notice that, I just braid it up and do a quick little like spray rinse, you know, in the shower. But And that's been working fine for me. Um, so really I haven't had a need to just continuously wash my hair. And that's also um, going to help me in the um, locking process. So let's go ahead and take a little look y'all know how i am about my clips that has not changed um i just love clips i want to y'all 
give me a, uh, you know, if you want to see me, I, I'm going to attempt an updo uh, in the near, near future, like in a couple days, but just so you can get a look. This is my grid. I hope y'all can see this. I try to, I'm gonna pull it up. I hope this is on camera, y'all. This has really, really grown. And let me, I'm gonna turn around a little bit. Hopefully y'all can see. Hope y'all are able to um, get a good look at my grid. Got a little shaky shake going on, y'all. I mean, before I almost had to break my neck <laughs> to get a little shake, but now I can just go like that, not like that. Y'all see that? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So. Anyway, yes, um, I'm going to attempt y'all. I don't know how it's going to go over, but if y'all want to see me attempt an updo, just give me a thumbs up or something in the comments, and I will be happy to attempt one. Um, what I was thinking that I could do, when I, you know, to spray it down a little bit and maybe do maybe three flat twists along the back and the sides and just kind of like leave like the front like it is now kind of like hanging and you know something to that nature i don't know i'm gonna try something um because i really haven't been doing too much styling and stuff like that you know i just wear my clips and stuff because i don't want to um you know be manipulating it too too much but you know this is the look how front the front is growing y'all it wasn't even i mean my front is is fine y'all but it was always the thinnest part of my hair from me doing so much see here's one can you see that on the end can y'all see that i'm gonna put it like this so y'all can see see that that's like a little like a little ball you know and it feels like they are super super small and stuff but they feel strong. They don't feel stressed or anything. Like when I first got them, I'm like, how is this going to turn into a lock? This little string, this little angel hair pasta size lock. Like what is this going to do? But now I see it. I see it, y'all. I can see how much growth I have. I still got a couple disrespectful ones. And it's like this one, and it's another one that kind of like, what's behaving today? It kind of like does its own thing. I, I can't find it right now, but anyway. Um, so yeah, um, so basically there's really no changes except for growth. Um, they feel great. They uh, are moisturized um, naturally. And so um, I noticed on my ends, on my little edges though, I got maybe like a couple little gray hairs trying to pop out, but that ain't nothing like a little dab of uh, semi-permanent color, maybe in some gel, you know, just to kind of like cover it up, um, wouldn't fix. But you know what, you really can't even tell, you know, that's just me being extra. So I'm gonna leave well enough alone. Then I have a new, wait, is this the new one? I got a new one somewhere, y'all. Oh, here she go. Y'all see this? This got the nerve to be doing good. It's so tiny, but it's nice and, I don't know, y'all. So, I'm just, you know, I'm just still loving the journey. Um, I can't wait to see what six months or my first year um, I just can't not wait to where I can really um, like style my hair. Um, I have still been wearing scarves, you know, just to try to add a little pizzazz to it. But for the most part, y'all, the one thing I do love about having sister locks is that you just stay on ready. Anything can be happening in your life. You can just jump up, spritz a little water or run your hands through your hair and voila, the beauty is ready. So, um, 
So basically that's it. This is my four month sister lock update. I've given you all a 360 and until the next time I will catch you all in another YouTube video. So go ahead and do your girl a favor. Please, if you stay to the end, give me a star and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and turn your notification bell on so that you know when your girl Renetta Monique uploads another YouTube video. Go ahead and hit any, leave any comments in the comment section below. I do read my comments and I do try to re respond to each and every one of you. So thank you all again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.